For you scooter or e-bike addicts out there, what's the difference between a parallel harness like that to connect two batteries together into your controller or using a parallel switch which also connects two batteries but it switches between one to the other battery automatically right so what's the difference between using this and this right today we'll show you so we're first going to connect the parallel harness to two different batteries both 48 volts but they're of different voltages this is at 53 volts which is at the top end of the 48 volt range and this is at the bottom end it measures at 48 volts so we have two kind of two similar batteries different capacities this is at 48 volts sorry 53 volts and this is at 48 volts okay so we're going to measure the first battery we're going to show you okay it's 52 volts and the second battery is at a lower voltage it's at 46 volts okay so this is very low in terms of voltage so this is almost drained out okay whereas this is almost at full charge and we'll show you the difference between using the parallel harness and a parallel switch okay so we connect both and once we connect both Right, look at the voltage here, it's at 48 volts. Remember, this was at 52 and this is at 46. But essentially, you just took the one at 52, which has an almost full charge, and you brought it down to 48 volts. Why is that? Because this is now also charging your battery with the low voltage, and then also running the motor of your e-bike or e-scooter. Okay, so let's turn on the e-bike e-scooter. Let's turn on the e-scooter controls okay so it still turns on right and it still runs the motor no problem okay but the problem with running at a low voltage of 48 okay let's run okay is you get much less power into your motor right versus having it at 52 right you have full power to your motor so that's the difference so let's stop this okay let's stop this and now we'll show you what happens when we use a parallel switch did i miss anything out no okay again we have two different batteries connected to this switch. Okay, we'll show you the output voltage. Okay, the output voltage is at now 51.2, okay? Because most of the voltage of this battery can be fully output into the controller, right? This, is, this was at 52, the output voltage now is 51, right? This is at 46. This is not being used because this switch is cutting off X, uh, the flow from this battery. So let's connect it to the controller now. Okay, and let's turn it on. Okay, operating at 51.5. Okay, let's go. Okay, there. And the motor will get full power. Okay, the motor will get full power from this battery alone until this battery drains to a level of this battery, and then it will take from both batteries equally. Cut it off. Right, so this is how the switch works. It takes firstly from the battery that has the higher voltage, right, drawing it at the constant current to run the motor until it drains to the level of this battery then it takes from both batteries equally until both batteries drain up so this is how this parallel switch works so which one would you prefer the parallel harness or the parallel switch